Nothing compares to having a hit song playing on the speakers and turning to see the person who wrote it dancing to it with you. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. And that's just what people at a strip club saw when Lato entered the establishment with Young Miami, a member of City Girls. To the former's 2024 hit Sunday service, they hurled stacks of cash and rapped along. <laughs> Many people noticed that Kersha was with the 777 artist in particular. This is due to the fact that many people view this song as a symbol of allegiance. Despite the fact that many fans interpret it as a direct jab at Ice Spice. In addition, the Cold War between her and Lato has been a major talking point for a while, with this year seeing things truly take on a storyline. Many people assume they were at odds because of their back and forth singles, which some fans believe contain subtle jabs at one another, as well as some apparent allusions in their promotional material. It makes no difference if there are real problems with Ice Spice, that's the public narrative and marketing that the artists and fans are currently using. Thus, in a strange way, this is a myth becoming real. A Spaceazama this week saw Ice Spice rekindle her feud with Lado. Spice got off on Lado for playing the Pretty Girl song video in the backdrop of a recent video, while fielding questions from fans. So nice. No, I was like, this has to be fake. This is AI. Like be bold, but if you're going to talk about me, then talk about me. Seeing that I'm in the back of your weak ass snippet. Uh. Spice off to the collection of shocked listeners. The Bronx rapper launched Thank You The Shit and took direct jabs at Lado in that song before launching her most recent assault. One of the most well-known new musicians at the moment is Ice Spice. Despite her sudden rise to fame due to the song Munch, she has managed to stay current. All in all, she exudes personality, and her music appeals to a wide audience. She has also had some extremely successful duets with musicians like Nicki Minaj and Taylor Swift. She has, however, in the past had conflicts with a few well-known musicians. She appears to have a running argument with Lado about this. This beef's origins are a little mysterious. Nevertheless, they have insulted one another and have not stopped showing how much they despise one another. Ice Spice made an appearance on Friday and released a brand new song titled Thank You The Shit. You the shit, bitch, you not even the fuck. After being teased for a while, this song is now officially released. I got my foot on they next, I can't let up. Spice raps on the song. Get up. Get up. She all on the floor, so I get up. Get up. Immediately, fans saw this as a reference to Lado's track Put It On The Floor. You can imagine how fans felt on social media when Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj started beefing at the same time. After being made fun of on his, Nicki Minaj retaliated on Megan Thee Stallion with a few bars of her own. These hoes don't be mad at Megan, these hoes mad at Megan's law. Meg dropped her new single on Friday, January 26th, after teasing the acerbic tune earlier this week. It seems to take some jabs at Nicki. Uh, I don't really know what the problem is, but I hear to y'all want me to The Houston native raps. Megan's law alludes to a federal statute that requires authorities to release information on registered sex offenders to the public, seemingly intended at Nikki Petty's husband. After Petty and Nikki moved to California in 2019 but failed to register as a sex offender there, they were sentenced to three years of probation and one year of house detention in 2022. His 1995 conviction for the first degree attempted rape of a 16-year-old girl led to a four-year jail sentence, which is the reason he is classified as a sex offender. Nicki Minaj responded on Instagram Live shortly after Megan Thee Stallion released his, playing a clip of a new song that contains some explicit language directed at Tina Snow. <laughs> She raps in reference to the July 2020 shooting that left Megan with foot injuries and resulted in Tori Lanez's imprisonment. Nikki was giggling as she played the clip, which she repeated several times. Wait, I, I play it again, German. She also said during the broadcast, you have three Grammys and you have to learn how to rap on the beat and be comfortable in the music, before doing an impression of Megan rapping in a thick southern drawl. Nikki shared a picture of her newly manicured foot on X, a social media platform that once existed, further mocking her rival's shooting wounds. Meg then seemed to reply, sharing a picture of herself giggling on her Instagram stories. Nikki Minaj's latest album, Pink Friday 2, seems to make jabs at Megan the Stallion and Lado. Young Money hitmaker made her eagerly anticipated fifth album out on Friday, December 8th, and it looks like it takes a few jabs at some of her female rap competitors. Nikki seems to be making fun of Megan the Stallion, with whom she is reported to have had a fall falling out, in the song FTCU, by making references to Tori Lanez and Iggy Azalea. Stay in your Tory Lane, bitch. I am not Iggy. She warns over speaker rattling, trap-flavored production from ATL Jacob. 
A failed partnership between Meghan and Iggy caused them some trouble in 2019, but the miscommunication was swiftly resolved. Iggy just submitted a letter supporting Tory in his shooting lawsuit against Meghan and was also supposed to be dating him last year. Fans were not blind to the apparent diss, and many of them shared their thoughts on social media. Elmao yes she slapped Meghan the stallion several times. Told that horse to stay in hashtag Tory Lena's meaning stay where you been dicking riding coins. Elmao sickening. Hashtag freed or Elena's Elmao Nikki ate her up throughout the album. Finally, one ex-user wrote, Nicki Minaj is so obsessed with this one-sided rap beef with Megan. Girl worry about yo man beeping ankle and the fact he can't take your son to school, another, said, referencing her husband Kenneth Petty's house arrest. Someone else wrote, that Megan diss was too oh nasty WTF did she do to Nicki I need to know. On Fallen For You, Nicki Minaj also seems to be making fun of Lado. It seems as though she is using her deft wordplay to conflate the rapper's name with locks. Picture you ending up under the sea with the dread there. Picture not listening in when I said you would dread that. I mean lots, ho. It's a chop, ho. And number one, y'all go argue over top four. Clean, sweet. Mopped, she raps. This verse sparked similar strong reactions on social media, with one commenter writing, Nikki is so funny for sonically overlaying Lado with Lox Ho. She got everyone confused af hashtag Pink Friday too. Another fan said, Nikki just dissed Lado. Nikki is a cornball. Now she wanna say names but couldn't say names before. Please, another fan wrote. Pink Friday 2, which was released by Young Money and Republic Records, has 22 tracks total, including the previously released Super Freaky Girl, Red Ruby Das Lees, and Last Time I Saw You. Drake, J. Cole, Lil Wayne, Future, Lil Uzi Vert, and other artists are featured on the album. Her first album since 2018's Queen which debuted at number 2 on the Billboard 200 with 185,000 album equivalent units in its first week, is The Project, which is a follow-up to her 2010 breakthrough album Pink Friday. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.